Hi guys, so my studio, workshop, office, well, general playroom is about 70% complete. Um, so obviously I'm not going to do a studio tour just yet and I can't wait to show you what I've got in here. Um, it's amazing how much stuff I had in my old place, a uh, two bedroom flat, um, and yet I've filled this room to capacity and there's stuff in boxes. But anyway, enough of that. I've got a new toy to show you, which is absolutely awesome. And it's going to fit in my studio perfectly with its sleek design, futuristic look, and amazing speeds. And what is it we're talking about? Well, I'm sure you probably guessed. Yes, I've got a lovely new 3D printer, hot off the press, and <laughs> it truly is just awesome. Anyway, let's see me getting this out of the box, setting it up, and doing a print with it, which you may have already seen a few times. <laughs> may well be on the thumbnail. I'm not too sure. Obviously, I'm videoing now. Thumbnail comes later. Some people do it their way around. Hey ho, waffle on. Come on, let's go and get this thing out of the box. So I absolutely love trying out new things, especially uh, 3D printers. I've been using them now for a good three years, and obviously they really have come along in leaps and bounds over that time, uh, both in obviously looks and functional functionality. Uh, and this 3D printer, yeah, this one is absolutely awesome. So you'd have seen me uh, use a Hay Gears 3D printer some time ago. So this is kind of like their sequel to that one. Um, and that one was just absolutely mind blowing. So it's great to see, obviously they have improved on what they're doing. And yeah, this one is just gorgeous. So as we all know, I'm not technically minded. So I'm not gonna dazzle you with lots of specs and all that kind of stuff. There's plenty of other sort of uh, YouTube channels out there that can do all that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I really am a layman kind of guy. I like stuff that I can, well, literally plug and play. So yeah, whenever I get a new 3D printer, um, I always have that worry or fear, is this gonna be nice and easy to use? And this, yeah, this was an absolute doddle to use. Very easy to set up. Uh, literally out of the box, I was printing within, well, under 10 minutes. I and mean, it took me longer to get it out of the box than actually set it up. Um, that's how easy this printer is to use, which is just great. As I say, I don't like things where you have to read a manual. Um, that instantly puts me off. Plus, yeah, I've got memory like a sieve. So I really do need things that are, yeah, plug and play. So only a few little things you need to do on this. Uh, Self-leveling, again, I love these. Uh, it really was a case of just pushing a button, a uh, plate comes down, it levels itself, bish bash, bosh, and then you're straight on the printing. Again, I love things when they are simple. Don't forget, a lot of the footage you will see on my channel is speeded up. Um, so yeah, so things don't move as quick as they do when you sort of see them here. Especially when it comes to me painting as well. Sometimes people say, God, you paint fast. It's like, well, I actually speed up the footage just so you get to see more of what I do uh, but whilst not making it a long video. So yeah, as I say, this thing, yeah, it, um, it did itself. Zero success, awesome. Click that button and now ready to sort of print straight away, which is just great. And the thing I do love about the, uh, the Hay Gears printer, and that's these quirky looking resin bottles that literally slide down the back of the machine, which is awesome because obviously it then means that this thing is constantly being topped up to sort of stay at the same level, which is great when you're sort of printing out larger miniatures, which is something you're gonna see me doing a lot more of now. Um, obviously I do still print my little miniatures to play in games, but I'm loving printing off busts for some reason. Uh, obviously because I can make them nice and big, they look great sitting on a shelf or a desk, and they're also fun to paint the larger things. So before I can paint anything, obviously I need to print it. So this does come with its own slicing software. And initially, obviously I was thinking, oh no, I've got to learn something new. But this is really simple. Again, if I can use this straight out of the box without looking things up, then so can you. So the first thing you need to do is decide, or click on which printer you're using, um, and then the kind of resin um, tank. I'll go through another one I've got because it's actually a heated one. And then click on the resin. And as you saw there, yeah, I clicked on this one, the modeling PAWW10. Uh, and this one's a water washable resin, which is pretty cool. because obviously it makes it a lot easier for cleaning afterwards. And the other great thing about this, uh, this water washable resin compared to other ones that uh, are prone to cracking, this one is much more durable. Um, and yeah, comparable to sort of oil based resins. And as you'll see when I actually print the, uh, the miniature out, yeah, the feel and texture of the uh, the miniature is pretty cool because it does feel durable, robust, and doesn't feel like it's going to break in any kind of way, which is uh, which is awesome. 
and then click obviously the uh, the layers it doesn't give you any choice at the moment but i'm sure that may well change although the layer height that it's given me is the one that i always use anyway which is just perfect for miniatures and then yeah usual sort of thing drag and drop so this slicing software i say it is unique and it is just for the hay gears resin printer uh, but again really easy to use which is great because it means i don't have to look online to try and work figure out what i'm doing so i've had a middle model for quite some time and as you can see yeah good old deadpool bust very minimal support so this is going to look absolutely awesome in the time lapse video you may have seen or if not it's coming up very soon obviously put a little hole in his head just so the resin doesn't fill up inside him because i've hollowed this chap out um just to make it obviously use less resin um and yeah it's going to look absolutely awesome so this slicing software yeah very similar to all the other slicing software out there again nice and simple to use which is just awesome because as i keep saying yeah i i'm not very technically minded um so i can't dazzle you with facts and figures again lots of other youtubers do that i keep things nice and simple uh, and again if i can use this straight out of the box no issues then well anyone can so the only thing i did to do, do to this say i had this file for quite some time the only thing i did do to him was large him just to make him say even bigger uh, and then a case of just slicing him again there's a few options here but i'm just sort of going with how it is obviously it came up saying no support so it's like well the actual model itself had already had supports put on it not many because say i wanted to make a nice time lapse video of this so the less support you see well the better it looks and then yeah it's simply a case of saving it um, obviously this is all done to the cloud which is even better than because i haven't got to mess about um taking a, a little stick to my uh, my printer i can just print everything from my desk which again i love yeah things are getting simpler and better uh and yeah they really are sort of listening to what people need and want and just making the whole experience a whole lot easier to uh, to get your sort of stl figure um and then get it printed so this is a little chap um again you send it via the cloud it popped up on the screen obviously i did have to get up from my desk to push the, uh, the print button and then here we go lovely little bit of smooth time lapse resin 3d printing and I'm sure you'll agree it can out perfectly. So whenever I do these kind of things, these are done overnight in a room with a locked door, well not locked door, shut door, windows open. I am looking into getting sort of extraction fans and all the rest of it, but whenever I'm printing without the, uh, the cover down, then yeah, I'm never in the room. So safety first, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I uh, hope you find it informative, funny, or just enjoy my waffle. If you do, it'd be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell just to be kept informed of all the videos that I produce each and every week. Okay, let's get back to the video. Uh, and yeah, this dude, I say first print. So this thing straight out of the box, uh, set up within 10 minutes, print done. Uh, and yeah, he has come out awesomely. Obviously hole in the head, but that was intentional. Just let the resin out. And then just a case of obviously slicing him off of this. Um, yeah, so he's on there nice, which is good. So it means when it is printing yeah you're not going to get any failures of him sort of like well coming off and there you go one perfectly uh looking deadpool bust so the other thing is saying about the old resin vat i love the fact it's self-filling especially say i am going to be doing some larger prints and knowing i'm not going to worry or keep checking to make sure there's enough resin um yeah it just makes things so simple and talking of simple obviously the paintwork on this yeah bit of green stuff in the other uh, lid there uh, but yeah love the feel of the resin as well um this is something i am quite a touchy feely kind of guy and this resin it does feel more kind of like plasticky than uh, some of the resins i've used in the past which have felt like ceramic and they're just going to break so painting this dude yeah obviously the simplest thing or best thing easiest thing to do is to prime him in red as well most of him is kind of red so don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description to where you can get more information, more detailed specs about the Hay Gears resin printer, which I truly believe is probably going to be the best 3D printer of 2024 as well. I say straight out of the box, perfect prints. This thing looks gorgeous. Um, and I say it does have a heated resin vat as well, which I will be using soon. Obviously at the moment here in the UK, it's kind of like the end of summer um although for the past week it has been absolutely chucking it down with rain 
Um, so it's still quite mild. So at the moment, I don't need to use the heated resin thing. Uh, but yeah, I certainly will be using it. And yeah, I'll be showing you that in probably a future video. Oh, so the one thing I did forget to mention earlier, this guy is where I, I don't do scripting. I like to just sort of wing it and sort of just talk um, when I'm watching the video. Um, yeah, the actual speed of the uh, the printer. So you probably would have noticed that when I was doing the slicing software, it did come up and say it was going to take sort of just over 12 hours. Um, well, over 12 hours for this sort of size print, yeah, that's about norm. But the actual print itself was just over six. So it's almost half the time, which was just amazing. So six hours to print something off that's got 3,500 layers. Um, yeah, very impressive. So I have printed out some miniatures on this, your sort of typical 32 millimeter miniatures, uh, and they're coming out at around about 45 minutes. So yeah, this printer is fast, uh, which again, I love because obviously the faster a printer is, the more miniatures I can sort of print out um, and then yeah, get painted. So absolutely love the speed of this thing as well. I just want to quickly say a big thank you to Hay Gears for sending me this printer and sponsoring the video. But as always guys, whatever words I use purely are mine. Um, I'm never told what to say or what to do or what to even show. Um, yeah, everything I do is purely my own thoughts and feelings. And guys, yeah, this printer is truly amazing. And there we go, in about seven hours of getting the printer out of the box, I printed a lovely large bust and painted it, which is truly amazing. Absolutely love this printer and you certainly will see more of it, um, yeah, in future videos, guys. So don't forget to check out all the links down below so we can get more information about the Hay Gears resin printer. And there we go, yeah, first of many prints perfectly sort of come out and yeah can't wait to do some uh, some smaller miniatures well and some bigger ones and dioramas and well many more things on this awesome Hages 3D resin printer and um, say so absolutely love the look design functionality of this um, and yeah everything is just so easy to use so straight out of the box perfect job um, I will be trying out say so it's got a the old heated resin vat which is going to be definitely coming handy during the winter. As I say, whenever I do print, especially when I do the time lapse, because I'm going to do more time lapse videos, um, I will be having the door shut to my office and a window open. So it may well get chilly. So it'd be good to see just how well this does when the room itself is, yeah, pretty cold. So looking forward to, well, trying that out. As well as printing out loads of, well, normal sort of sized miniatures that I'm going to be using for Warhammer 40k, uh, mainly obviously the kill teams. And the other great thing about this is it has a one-click slicing, which means you can click a button and it'll automatically do all the uh, supports, which is cool. And yeah, it'll slice everything in one, which makes things, well, again, nice and simple for the user. And since starting this video, I've already started to print out, well, loads of other miniatures and bits and pieces for, well, other videos. And yeah, I've had no failures whatsoever. So this is definitely a high performance printer. Uh, which is going to save you money in the long run because, as I say, everything is printed out absolutely perfectly. So for Warhammer, printing out loads and loads of miniatures, yeah, this is going to be awesome. So get in quick, guys. Links down below to the pre-sale and early bird pricing. As you certainly won't want to miss out on, yeah, some great savings to be made on what is an absolutely awesome looking machine uh, and prints perfectly. Like I mentioned earlier, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, found it informative, enjoyed what I've done, or just enjoy the waffle, it'd be great if you could hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell, like, share, leave comments, all that wonderful stuff. And yeah, I'm going to play a bit more with my new best friend, print off some more miniatures, and just have lots of fun. <laughs> you guys take care, see you in the next one. Bye for now.